Hello, this is Dan Nobles and welcome back to the final part of creating a realistic or lifelike human using Blender and Make Human. And I uh, just wanted to back up for a little bit. Um, this is a current render of the uh, character that I brought in. She's looking a little bit better with her hair. I got the colors kind of the way I want it. I uh, still need to do some combing, but she's starting to get a little bit happy because she's looking a little bit better than she did. And uh, just wanted to bring up this one part that I forgot, we go back into the object mode. If you hit N on your keyboard, you can bring up this panel, which is your, a lot of your properties panels. And if you go down to the MHX area, you have some options here. And for some reason, it's not coming up on mine. Okay, there we go. You have some lip sync options you can uh, work with your character, which is really nice, and some expressions, which is very nice. And just tons of expressions here. I was playing around with uh, the facial expressions. You can move these around, of course, but I wasn't quite getting the kind of facial expressions I was expecting to be able to get, but here, lo and behold, they're all in here, and you, it's all pretty much done for you so you can uh, just click any one of those and uh, change the values the way you want and there's a very good tutorial out on YouTube uh, I'll put the the link to that tutorial and I forget the name of the, the tutorial I was watching but just interesting that they have all those settings brought in there which is very nice so now um, if we look at that render again okay Pretty much, uh, you know, you bring in your basic character and it looks great and everything, but there's a couple of things you can do to enhance your character even further than the uh, generic uh, texture that's brought in with it. And two very important, or actually more than two, but uh, two main important things you can change is, of course, the eye color and um, the eyebrows, the way the eyebrows look can change the uh, actual look of the character character quite a bit and beyond that the actual uh, texture of the face can do things like uh, the character that I showed you at the very beginning of the tutorial that I did I actually put kind of dark rings around the eyes and added uh, a little bit of wrinkling or tried to just to give the idea that the character was aged a little bit because that particular character is appearing in the storyline that I'm doing as uh, years later being you know 20 or 30 years older so um, let's go ahead and go into Photoshop and I'll show you what I'm talking about as far as doing a little bit of tweaking here to the texture okay once you open Photoshop and you can use of course you know whatever you prefer uh, Paint Shop Pro or GIMP um, or whatever else. GIMP is a free program and it's it's quite nice as well so I've, I've used both uh, paint uh, Photoshop and GIMP and I just happen to be in uh, Photoshop right now. So I'm going to open the te basic texture for this character and this is just the female character uh, female texture and I'm just going to zoom into uh, See if that's too much or not. When in zoomed into 300, yeah, that's too much. Let's try 200. Yeah, really, still too much. Okay, good enough to be able to show you what I'm going to do here. Uh, what I usually do on these textures because they have this generic hair in here, full of these. Um, these uh, braiding uh, clips and everything. I, I hate that because it's like if you want to use that generic texture you have all these clips to deal with. But what I normally do is just um, let's go up here and I need to zoom out a little bit but I'm not going to do it for the purpose of this tutorial. I'm just going to show you what I normally do. Uh, select, select your whole hair area in this case I didn't but just like the entire area 
and uh, do a control C to copy I'm going to create a new layer I'm going to call this uh, just call it hair for now and I'm in that layer so I want to paste that back in and what you want to do of course is get it lined up exactly with the texture that your you know your general texture otherwise it's not going to fit right I haven't lined mine up completely but I'm not going to you know take all your time and sit here and get this lined up correctly I'm just going to show you uh, what I normally do so then I go to the clone stamp tool and uh, I usually grab some of the nearby texture and I start painting of course you want to get a bigger brush there do a control click and you know basically what I do and there's probably easier ways to do this uh, you know Photoshop users that are really into this program and use it a lot probably know a lot easier ways but basically what I do is just um, clone skin and just cover up the uh, you know make them bald in other words that way if you want to do like a blonde character or redhead or whatever you don't have this black hair texture in the way that's causing you you know problems because you'll see you'll see that black through your other colors so just you know make that layer bald and then go from there another thing that I do is here's one of the eyes the other ones on the other side of the screen but in order to fix that to the uh, type of color that you want I do kind of the same thing I just select it do a control copy oops and I gotta be on the right layer to do that do a control copy and I'm gonna make a new layer and of course you could do both the eyes at the same time but I'm just gonna do one for right now just to show you uh, I'm just call this eye and we are on that layer now so I'm gonna do a paste and that's it right there and say I want this to be um, this eye to be blue I'm going to zoom in quite a bit just zoomed in 300 and um, let's make this eye blue here and go to my paintbrush it's too big yeah, something like that I'm going to do this is like a real quick and sloppy job just to give you an idea of how this can be done and then you can go back and you know be a little bit more perfect on it and correct it so now I have the blue eye I can come over here to the opacity of that layer and just turn it down and it's actually looking purple because it's kind of mixing with the brown there but we can fix that by you know changing the color a little bit or actually you might even want to wipe out the brown underneath it just so you don't get that that uh, mix in there so then you've created your blue eye and uh, let's say that um, I did want to age the character somewhat or or actually just change the eyebrows a little bit let's go down a little bit to uh, 200 so we can see what we're doing and I'm going to use the same hair layer just because I don't want to take the time to create yet another layer but you do want to create separate layers just in case you need to go back and remove something if you want to and in this case uh, I'm going to change my brush see if we can get sort of like a, a brown color here kind of try to match the um, the eyebrows there actually my character is her hair is going to be black so I can even make it darker there and um, I have a kind of a few different little brushes here that might work a little bit better just need to size it down somewhat yeah I don't know if this will work okay but anyway we'll try it 
and um, so then what you can do of course you probably want to wipe out the old eyebrow just so it won't uh, cause you any strangeness when you go back to render this and again just a real quick hack job on this I'm not trying to be artistic here just trying to show you how you can change this so you've changed the eyebrows and again you can do the uh, op oh, I'm sorry I'm gonna feel want to do the opacity and then of course you know bring it down to the level that it's gonna look normal on your character now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and do this a little bit better and then fix my eye color and all that and I'll re-render just to show you what that looks like um, same thing with the um, like if you you know you were making your character older you would grab uh, probably I don't know one of these brushes here and uh, I got the black and now she's really really not had an, enough sleep and very tired and again uh, you know working with the opacity you could blend that in and you can see how amazing that you know it brings across that look that you're trying to achieve so again I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and tweak this a little bit and uh, then I'll do a final render to show you what it looks like so that's pretty much it um, just wanted to kinda give you some ideas I, I know I didn't go in full detail on everything but it's just a very quick explanation of how you can bring over this character out of make human into blender add some hair add some uh, you know take it further and add a little bit more to your texture and you know go from there be creative and create a, a character and a very nice character in fact that you can do very quickly okay so this is the final render and as you can see I added the blue eyes on the texture and even added some uh, bluish type of purplish um, eyeshadow there and added uh, changed the eyebrows a little bit added some texture in that in that area as well so just a very basic overall tutorial on how you can uh, start to create a lifelike human of course uh, didn't do too good on the hair this is the first time I've really done this length of hair and it's uh, <laughs> causing a lot more issues than the short hair has that's for sure but uh, it's getting there so I hope you enjoyed this basic tutorial and uh, see you again soon